You know, every once in a while, you come across a YouTube channel that connects with you, inspires you, or even motivates you. And the Van City Van Life channel had that effect on me. This was the first channel that was from the same place that I lived, in BC, just a few hours away. This is Chrome. He was tired of working hard all of his life and not getting anywhere. And I related to that. So he ended up packing up, moving out of his condo in Vancouver and moving into the van that you guys see here. He was a big reason why we started a YouTube channel. To see a person and just like us and pull out his phone and create a, a video. He was a big reason why we got hooked in the overland and van life lifestyle. Years later, he put out the call looking for an editor for a future side gig, and I jumped all over it. He sent some clips, and this is my edit of one of his videos, and it's something that I wanted to share with all you guys. Come on back. So I'm getting smart today. We're putting all this stuff inside of my rooftop box. I hope anyway. At least that's the plan. You, uh, you guys see anything back there? <laughs> nope. I got smart on this trip and made some room in that darn rooftop carrier to put all the boxes. I also didn't order very much stuff and thankfully there wasn't a lot sent to my mailbox because that happens sometimes. I get there thinking there's gonna be a couple of boxes and there's 10 because uh, sometimes my address gets out there on the internet and people send me stuff, but thank you for those who do. But sometimes it, it, it makes for an unplanned mess inside the van. <sighs> okay, so while we're over here, I'm actually going to look at a few vehicles in the next couple of days. Not because I'm really in the market for another vehicle, but a few deals have popped up my way since making that video the other day of some people that have some stuff that they'd like to get rid of. I'm not looking for a new home, but if this means a new project for the shop at some point and I can wrangle a deal, I got the space to put put a vehicle or five, okay, not five. So yeah, we very well, uh, maybe on this trip we're bringing home another vehicle. Uh, I, I don't know yet, but as of today, we're going to take a look. Look at that huge ship right underneath us. Right there, that's the back end of it. Well, there's the van. Oh, it looks clean. How are you? Come on, how you doing? What's your name? Uh, Chrome. Chrome? Chrome. Nice to meet you, Alex. How are you doing, man? Nice van. Thanks, man. This thing's a van. Rocket artist, too? Yeah, we did uh, it's a Linex bed liner. Nice.
It has been a little while since we've been down to one of my favorite graffiti spots here in Vancouver. Oh, something changed in my van. Let me show you guys. For the longest time, I have had Canadian flags on the back of the home. Well, I changed them today to British Columbia flags. Heck yeah, it's the province of BC, my friends. And they look super, super good up there. I figured since we're traveling in BC this year that we would rock the provincial flags. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep those permanently. I love those. Wanna go check out some graffiti, bro? What? Is that a no? Come on, let's go check out some graffiti, crazy. Come on. Come on, bro. It has been so long. And holy cow. All the new graffiti looks incredible. If you've watched my earlier videos on this channel, you know I get super hyped and super inspired when I'm around some street art. Heck yeah. Check out this spot. <laughs> Let's go. piece of flower art right there. <laughs> this is actually a vinyl sticker. That whole piece. Or a uh, paper mache. It's paper. That whole piece is paper. That is wild. <laughs> I love coming to these graffiti spots. There's a few really incredible ones here around Vancouver, but it's rush hour traffic and I am not driving downtown the city today. <laughs> that is not gonna happen. We went down there to pick up a package this morning before nine o'clock. After that, <clears throat> I'm gonna pass, thanks. <sighs> so a lot went on today and I didn't run my camera. I went and looked at a van and I called Lauren and Lauren's gonna come out and look at the van with me and check it out mechanically. Yeah, that's that's for another video, <laughs> another story. But those flags look good. Those BC flags, a little splash of color back there. Heck yeah. Right over there is the PE, which is the Pacific National Exhibition. Pretty much like an outdoor fair that uh, that's on all summer. But if you're looking for this graffiti spot, find that landmark, which because it's not hard to find. And right on the other side of that landmark is that graffiti spot underneath Hastings Street. It's literally a a tunnel back there. So something that happened today that has me smiling that I didn't film. I had a meeting today with a print company that I think is gonna do my merchandise going forward. What an incredible crew of people. They were just, they had my creativity going and I love being in a place where, where I bounce an idea and they bounce a bigger one back and then I throw it back to them and they hit it back to me a little bit harder and it just goes back and forth. The creativity and the energy was beautiful. I felt super inspired to be there and that's the kind of company that you wanna work with when you're doing creative things like merchandise. Check this out. This was printed, let me bring it out here. This was printed at that place. Look how beautiful that print is. Like you can feel it, it's, oh guys, it's so incredible. Hey? I would be super proud if you guys, if you guys had merch that looked this good. Look at that. <laughs> and this hoodie feels beautiful. Oh guys, I am super stoked, man, super stoked. Right over there is these smallest little Tim Hortons. Look how little it is. It's like a, like a trailer park trailer. It's so cute. Yeah. 
shower time, baby. <laughs> There's a steaming hot shower. Whoa. Who needs a house, man? Who needs to pay high price rent to have these luxuries? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Look how steamy it is in here. <laughs> well worth the $50 membership every damn time. There's been many times I've pondered deleting my chain gym membership, but you get moments when that shower hits and you're like, oh yeah, worth the 50 bucks. The only time it's not is when you're traveling a little bit and you're in an area where there, your chain gym is not. That's the only time you contemplate deleting it. But that moment you turn around that one corner in that one town, and you see the logo of your gym worth every dime, let me tell you. It was a good day today. So the couple that were at my shop that make these screens from this company, they will be making an appearance in my videos again soon. And hopefully that's when I can release the link so you guys can buy these for your vehicle. I really like them. There's a bike lane on this side now that never used to be a bike lane. I used to park right there in front of those businesses um, because I used to be able to get Wi-Fi from there. But yeah, I used to sleep right there on the other side. That's kind of fun to revisit places that I used to live in my van. <laughs> it's fun. A little spot to sleep tonight. This will work. Sun's going down behind those Building's getting a little chilly. Hey, Cruzy. What do you say? Not a bad place to call home. Works for me. A couple of businesses still open over there. <laughs> Who needs to be stealth, huh, Cruzy? Tell everybody stealth is not a thing. Things gonna happen if you stare at your bowl. <laughs> you think food's gonna magically appear, Dad? Today was a really awesome day. <sighs> I need this. Mm. Anyway, guys, thanks for uh, thanks thanks for coming along with me. I appreciate this today. It's fun to share with you on my everyday runarounds and stuff and bring you guys into a little piece of my van life journey every day from places to wake up to sleeping right here on the side of a busy street like cars and stuff have been driving by room it don't matter to me <laughs> it's all good just cover up so nobody has to see me in here we're good to go but anyway thanks for just riding along i really appreciate all this stuff with you guys and uh Thanks to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. You guys seriously keep us moving down the road and so do all of you. Thank you for pressing play every day. That's the best thing you can do for the YouTube channels that you love the most is press play on every single upload and watch them right to the very end because watch time is king. Oh yeah, and subscribe if you love what we're doing around here. Um, we do absolutely everything on this channel from just sitting in the van talking sometimes to doing mechanical work sometimes, to building an ambulance in a shop sometimes. 
and there is a major chunk of our summer season usually six months that we spend on the road traveling to some of the most incredible places here in canada so if you want to ride along with us every single day hit that subscribe button you guys and i'll see all of you tomorrow or very 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 soon i upload a lot if you don't know <laughs> okay guys see you later Woo let's go